This is Dr. Brent Wright discussing how to calculate the due date on the date of conception. Actually, what OBGYNs use is the last menstrual period. That's not exactly the date of conception. It's easier to come up with that date is the first day of bleeding of the, the last menstrual period before you became pregnant. Usually about two weeks before ovulation. Most women have a 28-day cycle. Ovulation is going to be on day 14, but that may not be true for all women, so that's why we use the last menstrual period. There's something called Nagel's Rule. Uh, it's been around for a long time. What you do is you subtract uh, three months and then add seven days and then add one year uh, to the year. So that is called Nagel's Rule. That's, uh, that's one way. Less accurate. We have wheels. We have, there's OB calculators online now. You can use those. Uh, another way to do it is add 280 days to uh, the last menstrual period. So all of these things are available to you, but generally what I would recommend you do is go on to an OB calculator online, and that will uh, give you how to, how to calculate the, uh, the date of um, confinement. But the, you know what? That's not the, always the day it's going to happen on. You know that's just an average date. Not every pregnancy lasts uh, 280 days. Some go early, some go late. Uh, so it's important to say that's just a general range. And it's important for the OBGYN to have that so we can monitor the pregnancy as it goes through, make sure there's appropriate growth and everything. So anyway, that's how you can calculate the last how, when your baby's going to be coming or when it's due, but it's not always going to happen on that date. This is Dr. Brent Wright on how to calculate the due date.